I decided, well, if I survive this ordeal, I could come out and help to change the situation. The countries that I was working in are countries that have the potential for very widespread violence. I grew up knowing that what I wanted to do was to use the law as a way to uh, work for victims of um, atrocities. I always knew that I wanted to have an international career, considering that in all difficulty there is an opportunity. Meet an exceptional group of people. Each is a Rotary World Peace Fellow, graduate of a unique academic program that's dedicated to a simple proposition. The best way to build peace is to train a new generation of peacemakers. The mission of the Rotary Foundation is to advance world understanding, goodwill and peace. As one way to achieve these goals, the Foundation created seven Rotary Centers for International Studies in Peace and Conflict Resolution. The centers in the United States, Argentina, England, Japan and Australia offer a master's degree program in a variety of study areas. I had an incredible time as a World Peace Fellow in Argentina in 2005-2007. Uh, I was at the University of Queensland and I was also at the uh, University of California in Berkeley. The centre in Thailand offers a three-month course leading to a professional development certificate in peace and conflict studies. One of the best things that ever happened to me was going to Bangkok and getting such a wonderful training from some of the best professors in the world. Rotary World Peace Fellows benefit from rigorous academic curriculums. They review case studies, participate in academic seminars, and hone their skills in conflict analysis, negotiation, and mediation. We learned about ethnic conflict in India, or we learned about the uh, displacements in Sierra Leone. Uh, we looked at Islamist conflict in the south of Thailand. One of the things that the the Peace Centre Universities appreciate is that the Peace Fellows bring with them a great deal of practical experience themselves. The fields that are covered within the program are anywhere from teachers to lawyers to government officials to development work. What I find about Rotary and, and how they chose the, the Peace Fellows was that there is someone for everything, nearly, and that's exactly what the world needs. From Lebanon, from Australia, from from the Gaza Strip, from everywhere. They've been everywhere. They've experienced the issues firsthand. The interaction between participants in the classroom is always incredibly dynamic, energetic, active, controversial, often argumentative. To be in one room and, and fight and debate and disagree and agree and about issues of the world just makes you learn things really quickly. And that learning doesn't happen only in the classroom. Equally important are the program's field studies, where Peace Fellows get practical experience in implementing the lessons they've learned. The applied field experience is the core of the program. I went to West Africa, where I assessed sensitive issues like women and conflict in Senegal and Ivory Coast. I went to Nepal and worked with International Alert, looking at the role of institutions like the World Bank and the Asian Development Bank. I was able to spend uh, a month in The Hague as part of my applied field experience. Each year, up to 110 Rotary World Peace Fellowships are offered on a competitive basis. It was not an immensely complicated process to apply for it. Um, I had a connection already with a Rotarian and that was my first link. I started the process uh, with the Rotary Club of Nkwazi uh, in Zambia uh, who gave me all the necessary support uh, in order for me to meet the application requirements. Because the fellowship program pays for virtually all expenses, it attracts a wide range of applicants. We had two Americans, one Italian from Thailand to China, uh, Rwanda, Nigeria, Sierra Leone. Rotary Peace Fellowships are a powerful force for career advancement. It's very interesting, I think, to people 
that I actually have a degree uh, that relates to peace and conflict resolution. Program graduates stay in constant contact. Today we have a, like a network that we use to talk about issues affecting the world. Most important, World Peace Fellows return to their fields with new knowledge and skills they can apply immediately. When I started working for Interpol at the United Nations, I already had the background to understand international relations. I work as a democracy governance officer in the United Nations mission in Timor-Leste. We find out how the state should operate to best serve the people. I'm a project manager in the BBC World Service Trust. The people here are all making programs by and for Bangladesh. And my job is really to sort of link all the different programs that we're making. The Rotary Centers for International Studies in Peace and Conflict Resolution. Building peace by training a new generation of peacemakers. Endorsing the concept of peace is not an easy task, and yet Rotary does that. Peace sounds theoretical, and people sometimes take it for granted, but it's a huge investment. Rotary has taken an amazing opportunity um, and is doing the right thing to invest in these Peace Fellows because eventually it's going to pay off and they're going to do something really special. They will lead um, their governments, they will be leaders of international organizations, they will be leaders of NGOs out there on the ground. Give us 10 years, maybe 15, maybe, but uh, it will happen and I'm very certain of that. To learn about applying for a Rotary World Peace Fellowship, contact your local Rotary Club or visit rotary.org.